No! What's wrong, Holly? My soulmate, Jared, he's 80% nice and 20% naughty, but that still means he's gonna be on the naughty list. He is the son of Jack Frost. But Winky, he saved my life last year. He's been nice. Plus, I think he's gonna propose to me soon. Holly, your father wants to talk to you. Yes, Dad? Is it true that Jared is thinking of proposing? Well, he's sort of been hinting at it. He needs to be 100% nice before Christmas. But Dad, Christmas is only a few days away. If he is not off the naughty list, then you can't be together. I used my ice powers to make that for you. I hope you like it. I love it, Jared. Thank you. Hey, watch this. No, Jared! <sighs> <laughs> you can't be using your ice powers like that. Why not? It's funny. Because you're still 20% naughty. And my dad said if you don't get on the nice list by Christmas, we can't be together anymore. What? I have to get a 100% nice score? Yeah, I'm sorry. My dad is super strict. We have to be together. We're soulmates. Plus, I'm more nice than I am naughty. I think my dad's just afraid that you're going to turn into a supervillain just like your dad, Jack Frost. I won't. And I'm going to get a 100% score just for you. Well, if it isn't Santa's little daughter... Um, who are you? The Tooth Fairy's daughter, and I'm gonna be the one to marry Jared, not you. What? <laughs> Nighty night. Holly, wake up. Is this dental floss? Yep, and it's really strong, so you won't be getting free. Now to turn into you. Huh? Just watch me work my magic. Ta-da. Why are you doing this? I had a crush on Jared first, so I'm gonna make him misbehave so you two can never be together. He's gonna know it's not me. We'll see about that. I'll be back to check on you later. No, his score is going down. What is she having him do? No, his score went down again. It's getting really cold in here. He has to notice that it's not me. Jared, look, here comes another person. Make them slip and fall with your ice powers. No, this just feels mean now. Oh, please, Jared, we were just messing around. You sure your dad doesn't mind if I act naughty? Yes, I told you, he doesn't care anymore. Now, Jared, what do you say you and I be really naughty, and we can go to your place, and you can unwrap me like a little Christmas present? Nah, you're not Holly. What? Of course I am. My soulmate would never say- Is that a purple streak in your hair? No. Hey, are those wings? <sighs> Dang it, the magic is wearing off. Where is she? I'm not telling. Ow! You know, you're gonna make your nice score go down. It's going down a lot more if you Okay, don't... wait. I'll show you where she is. Just follow me. Holly! Holly, come on, wake up! I don't like this, come on! Oh no, I think the blizzard killed her. I think the blizzard killed her. No, how long has she been in here? Over five hours, and your ice powers aren't gonna be much help to her. She needs someone who could warm her up. I think I know just the guy. Ugh. Please, Mr. Heatmiser, you have to save my soulmate. Wait a minute, aren't you Jack Frost's son? Yes, and this is Santa's daughter. Can you please help her? She's been out in a blizzard for hours. Hmm, I'll see what I can do. But if you're really Jack Frost's son, you should leave. This place will kill you. Not until I know she's okay. There, that should have helped her. Oh, Holly. Jared? You're... you're okay. Wait, what's wrong? The heat... it's too hot. I, I can't get up. <laughs> please, Mr. Heatmiser, you have to help me. If I touch him, I'll only make him worse. It's okay, Holly. All that matters is that you're safe. Jared, you reached 100% on your niceness score. We can get married. You can't give up on me now. I'm sorry. I don't think he's going to make it. I'm sorry. I don't think he's going to make it. Holly? Jared! Do you need some help? Yes, please. Okay, let's get him up. Okay, we got him back in the snow. Now we just have to wait and hope he wakes up. You really love him, don't you? With all my heart. Jared? Holly. You okay? Yeah, never better. <laughs> Jared, you were willing to sacrifice yourself to save my daughter. So, you have my full blessing to marry her. Thank you, Mr. Claus. That means a lot. Looks like you both are on the nice list. And do you take Jared Frost to be your husband? I do. Well then, I now pronounce you officially Mr. and Mrs. Frost. Jared, what did I tell you about making it snow inside the house? Uh, babe, this isn't me. But if you're not using your powers, then... No way! Looks like Baby Crystal has taken up after me. Good morning. I made you lunch. Thank you, Mother. Have a good day at school. Thank you. Hello, best friend. Hello. 
Hello. Watch out for the Ow. table. No, no, please don't do this. I just hit my arm. I'm so sorry. Where is Emily? You always walk together. She is gone. Hey, I, uh, I heard what happened to Emily. I really hope you're doing okay. Be careful. You're showing emotion. Actually, I figured out how to show emotion without getting caught. I can show you how to do it if you want. Yeah. How do you show emotion without getting caught? The trick is to stop caring. You wasted my time. Try it out and see for yourself. <laughs> Mother, don't Your little sister Ella's gone. She threw a tantrum at school and now she's gone forever. Mother, I love you. Okay, that you said work. I stopped caring after everyone in my life was gone. I knew you'd come around. We need to put an end to this wall. Can you help me? <gasps> did you just get an emoji? I did. My soulmate's a brunette. He's just my type. Really? Mine's blonde. My soulmate loves reading. He's just like me. I'm so excited to meet him one day. Oh, I just got a car emoji. Maybe he drives? An ambulance? Hey, do you know what ambulance might mean? I don't know. Maybe he's going to be a paramedic when he's older? Yeah, I'm sure it's that. You got a skull emoji? Does that mean your soulmate is... No. No, there's no way. It can't be. It's not fair. Brianna, wait. Where are you going? I'm going home. I wonder what the police car could mean. I just got another one. It's a man running. Hmm. A police car and a man running. hiding or something? Oh my. Brianna, I don't think your soulmate's dead. I think he's a murderer. Okay, make a wish. How many years did you get? Eight. But you'll only be 17. Don't worry, I'm sure she'll find a nice, handsome prince to marry. I hope so. Your birthday soon. Have you chose a prince you'd like to marry? No. All the princes I've met so far are just not for me. Hello, princess. Prince William. I heard you're looking for a prince to marry. How about me? I'd rather drop dead. <laughs> well, that's what's going to happen. I heard Prince William likes you. Yeah, but he's not my type. You don't have much time left. Maybe you can learn to love him. You are to marry Prince William. Final decision. But mother, I don't like him. Enough. You don't have enough time left. You must marry a prince in two days. Who said I even like princes at all? Excuse me? <laughs> two princesses marrying is forbidden. Mother. That's enough. I'm going to start making the arrangements for you to marry Prince William. Brianna, are you okay? I am to marry Prince William tomorrow. I'm sorry. I know that he wasn't your first choice. No, he wasn't. I now pronounce you, Prince William, and you, Princess Brianna, to be wedded. I object. You should really be more careful. No, wait, I think you might be my... soulmate. He drives a Ferrari with no license plates? Maybe he's not as innocent as I thought. <sighs> Natalia, are you okay? What's wrong? No, nothing. I'm good. Really? You're gonna lie to me? Okay, guess I'll leave you alone. Fine, but you have to swear not to tell the boss. So your soulmate saved your life, and now you've gone soft and don't want to kill him. That's true, except for the going soft part. Well, now the boss is going to kill you. I know, this is why we can't tell him. You promised, remember? I know. I'm not the one that has the briefing with him tonight, though. <sighs> you eliminated him? Yes, sir, I did. That's a good girl. Did anyone see you? No, no one saw me. Very good. Very good. Actually, I should be going now, so... Get back here. It's time to teach you a lesson about lying. It's time to teach you a lesson about lying, though. 
Oh no, Natalia. Can I stay at your place tonight? I, I don't think I can make it back home. I can't believe he didn't kill you. Yeah, well right now I'm kind of wishing that he did. He said I have one more chance to finish the job. I don't even know when he knew I was lying. Actually, I think I do. Because you told him? Oh, that is for thinking I would ever do that. Come on. Okay, then how did he know? I think your soulmate is the boss's son. What? You're sure you saw him in the boss's driveway? Yep, I took a picture of his car. This is him, right? Yeah, damn it, that's him. I don't understand this. If he's his son, then why does he want me to kill him? I don't think they get along very well. Well, the boss gave me 24 hours to get rid of him, and if I don't, I'm dead. You ready? Yeah. I already killed my soulmate. Don't worry, it's not that bad. Natalia, do you see any sign of him? No, not yet. Wait. Scratch that, I think I see him. But he's too far. I need to get closer. Freeze. Hey, easy now. My dad put you up to this, didn't he? Yeah, I'm sorry, but I don't have a choice. Natalia, I took the shock. You know, you have really pretty eyes. Flattery isn't gonna work on me. Well, if you're gonna kill me, then do it. But you're wrong about not having a choice. What are you talking about? Listen, I'm willing to help you eliminate my father. This is your call. Do you trust this guy or not? You know what? Yeah, I do. Is it done? Yes, sir. Good. Now, where's the body? It's in the trunk. Show it to me. I want to see it. There you go. See for yourself. There's nothing here. Surprise. Hey, Dad. I can't believe you were going to have me kill your own son. This is a setup? Oh, Natalia. And to think you were my favorite. Have you forgotten about the chips in the back of your heads? So what? They're just trackers. No, Gretchen. They're a little more than that. If I die, so do you too. Fine. Then so be it. Because a life working for you isn't a life worth living. Natalia, wait. I have to. He's bluffing. I'm not. So be a good girl and put that... Told you he was bluffing. You two scared the shit out of me. I'm sorry. Eh, it's okay. I'm just happy to be free. So, are we gonna address the elephant in the room? Are you referring to my kill count? Oh, that's right. He knows your number. Okay, come on. Tell me. Look, I don't want to say it, okay? Listen, I killed my soulmate for no reason. The only joy I will get is knowing your kill count. Uh... Do you really want to deprive me of that joy? Fine, it's... I couldn't hear you. Oh, come on, just say it. It's 269, okay? Oh, no. You need to change that number right now. Go go kill a rat or something. I'm not gonna go kill a rat. That's not even how the body count works. Excuse me. I'm looking for a girl. You, come with me. No, thanks. I wasn't asking, sweetheart. Hey. Okay, not gonna lie, that was kind of hot. I got you, babe. There's more of them coming. Looks like I'm changing that number. It's done. This guy better be paying me double. Or, I can handle that. So, did you get your soulmate's number yet? Yeah, I did. It's four. How about yours? Oh, wow. Mine's 60. Oh, I'm so sorry. Quite all. Eh, I mean, my number's more than that. I got this guy. You take that one. Copy that. Nice one. What the hell? Guess what? What? My soulmate's number just got bumped up to seven. So? So? That means that he was having, you know, a threesome? It's not that kind of body count. It's not? Then what does the number represent? It's our soulmate's kill count. So that means that he could see every time I... Yep. Oh, not good. You're overreacting. Do you know what my kill count is? No, because you won't tell me. Exactly, because it's really bad. Oh, please. Is it more than mine? Mm-hmm. Well, it's not like this guy is a saint. I know, but seven compared to my number is like nothing. <sighs> Hang on. It's the boss. So, what do you say? He wants us to take out our soulmates. Like, take them out on a date? Or like... 
eliminate them. Obviously the second one. You know we can't have attachments. Well, I'm not gonna do that, are you? Natalia, you know what our boss will do if we don't. I really don't want to kill him. Oh, thank God. Not you, you idiot. Natalia, we don't have a choice. Hey, can you hear me? I'm getting a lot of static on my... Let me see your hands. This is for killing all my men. This is my daughter. Hi. Oh, hello. And how much time do you have left to talk? I have two hours left. Perfect. I've been dying to get to know my future stepdaughter. And that's how I met your daddy. Wow, that was a really long story. I know, and I haven't even let you talk. Go on, it's your turn. Well, I like to play... Oh, no. Are you all out of talking time? Well, there's always tomorrow. Ten minutes? Are you kidding me? And till Ingrid breakfast is ready. Hey, Ingrid, my dad wanted me to... Yes, the best thing is he's filthy rich. <laughs> no, he doesn't suspect a thing. <gasps> How long were you standing there for? You little gold digger. I'm telling my dad. Dad, you won't believe what I just heard Ingrid saying. I told you to get her. Her breakfast is getting cold. No, forget about her breakfast, okay? Ingrid is a... A what, Anne? Spit it out. Oh, boy, you're out of talking time, aren't you? Did I hear Anne is all out of speaking time? Yeah, poor thing barely got to talk at all today. Wait, Anne, just text me what you want to say. What's the matter? Don't tell me you forgot to charge your phone again. You're kidding me. Anne, that's not really responsible behavior. I agree. But hey, I gotta go to work, so text me once you charge your phone. Hello, Anne. I'm really sorry, but I can't let you do that. Don't worry, I'll keep it safe. Why didn't you text me? Dad, she took my iPhone and my iPad. You did? Oh, would you look at that? She found another way to communicate. And yes, I did, because I caught her watching some inappropriate videos. Anne, is that true? She won't admit it, darling, but I did catch her, and she really needs some discipline. <gasps> oh! Anne, that's it. You're grounded. Get out of here. Ingrid, I'm so sorry. This behavior is not like her. Don't worry about it, darling. I think I do know where you can make it up to me, though. <laughs> Let's start by getting that shirt off of you. Yes! Oh my gosh, she is so busted. Dad, guess what? I got five hours of talking time today. You better be using that time to apologize to Ingrid. No, Dad, there's something that I need to tell you. No, first eat your breakfast. You have plenty of time to talk. Okay, I finished my food. Can I please talk to you now? Okay, but thank Ingrid for the breakfast. Wait, do you need this? Yes, even after you were so disrespectful to her. So I want an apology to her first, and then we'll talk. No, Dad, wait. <laughs> Don't give me that little laugh. I have five hours of talking time, so my dad is going to find out exactly what you... Exactly what you... Are you okay, Anne? Uh, there you go. Now just rest, darling. You sure she's all right? Yes, I think it's just a bad flu bug. Don't worry, I'll watch over her while you're at work. Oh, thank goodness you're up. Dad? Yeah, hey, how are you feeling? What time is it? It's 4 p.m. You were asleep for almost the whole day. Luckily, Ingrid watched over you. Ingrid? Ingrid did this to me. She... Oh, you're all out of talking time. Oh, you want your phone? Well, sweetheart, Ingrid accidentally broke it. But don't worry, I'm gonna get you a new one. Also, don't freak out, but we moved our wedding date up to next weekend. Look, I know this is a lot to take in, but the venue that we wanted had an opening, and we just had to take this opportunity. All right, this time, no messing around. Dad, Ingrid is a liar, and you won't believe what she's hiding from you. Sweetheart, I think I know what you're talking about. You do? Yep, she told me the news this morning. Yes, darling, I told him I'm pregnant. What? I'm so happy for us, Ingrid. Anne's always talking about how she wanted a little sibling. This isn't over, Ingrid. Really? Because I think it is. Face it, darling, I have your daddy wrapped around my little finger. And if you cause any more trouble, I'll convince him to ship you up to boarding school. <laughs> Here, Anne, take out the trash. Your daddy and I are going golfing. <sighs> Seriously? Wait a minute, is this her pregnancy test? That little liar, she's not even pregnant. 
Oh, it's time to expose her. But what better time to do that than her wedding day? Oh, this is ridiculous. What's the matter? I only got three hours of talking time. Oh, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Listen here, you little brat. If you do anything today to ruin my wedding, you'll regret it. I'm almost out of talking time. What if I can't say I do? Ingrid, it's going to be okay. Yeah, and if you can't talk, you can always just nod. That'll work just fine. Yeah, exactly. Darling, could I speak to Anne alone for a moment? I know you're planning to ruin my wedding. I can sense it. Oh, Ingrid, I would never do such a thing. Then why do you seem so damn happy? Because I know that you're not really pregnant. Oh, I see. So you're going to try and expose me. Well, do you really think your daddy will believe you? Yes, I do, because I have proof. Really? Well, would it happen to be on this phone? How did you... Ingrid, it's time for the wedding. Coming, darling. Now why don't you just fetch? No! Oh, thank goodness it's not broken. No. She locked me in here? Oh no, it looks like they're already reading their vow. I have to take this lock. I saw this used in a movie once, so uh, let's hope it works. Does anyone have any objections to this marriage? I do. No! Anne, what? Ingrid told me you were sick. Yeah, well, that's not the only thing she's lied to you about. She's also not even pregnant. What? Darling, don't listen to her. She obviously doesn't want us to get married. Really? Then what do you call this little recording of yourself? If you do anything to ruin my wedding, you'll regret it. Why would you talk to Anne like that? Darling, I can explain. I... Oops, looks like Ingrid's out of talking time. Good, because I don't want to be interrupted when I say this. Ingrid, you and I are over. Oh! I'm so sorry, Anne. I had no idea Ingrid did all those things to you. It's okay. No, this is my fault. I should have listened more to you. I promise you, from here on out, things will be different. Hey, Mommy. Can I ride the bus to school with my friends? No, honey. I'll walk you. Okay. Hey, Mom. Can I go to the mall with Jessica? Her mom's taking us. You can go, but I'm driving you. Okay, yeah. That's fine. Hey mom, there's this school trip. Can I go? How long is the drive? About three hours. No, sorry, you can't go. Okay. Hey mom, I'm finally 16. Can I please learn how to drive? No. But both my sisters got to learn at my age. I said no. This is not fair. Hey girl, are you coming with us to Jackson's party tonight? I would love to, but I can't. Ugh, is this about the whole driving thing? I'll take you. I have my license. You know what? Yeah. Pick me up at seven. I'll follow you into the park, through the jungle, through the dark. Girl, I've never loved one like you. Boats and boats and waterfalls, alleyways and payphone calls. I've been everywhere with you. That's true. We laugh until we think we'll die Barefoot on a summer night Nothing new be sweeter than I'm with you And in the streets you're running free Like it's only you and me Jeez, you're something to see Oh, home Let me come home Home is wherever I am
Hi beautiful, I'm gonna be doing my whole face of makeup using only filters. Starting with eyebrows using this filter. I feel like my eyebrows are close to this already. <laughs> We're done with brows, let's move on. You already knew what I was gonna do for contour. My head is definitely a rectangle. I'm built like a Fruit Loops box. This is almost exactly how I normally do it. I feel like it's gonna look really good. Time for some freckles, let's see what we get. I guess I won't be wearing this makeup outside my house. This is actually not that easy. I picked the random Halloween eyeliner for some spice. Of course, it gave me the most difficult one. I have no idea if this looks good or not. I should have done eyeshadow first, but all right. One of my friends just asked me to hang out. Uh, not right now. Lastly, we are doing some random lips. Come on. Should I send a picture to my crush like this? Okay, and this is our final look from all of those filters combined. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't think I'm gonna go outside the house. I kind of killed it. I think I did a good job. Ooh, a button. No, don't press that. Why not? Nobody knows what it does and we're not allowed to press it. Why is it there then? I don't know why it's there, but you're not gonna be the one to find out. What if it's like a million dollars? Or what if it literally ends the world? You need to go to school and don't press it while you're there, okay? Okay, I won't. I heard that someone got rich from pressing it last year. What are you guys talking about? What the button does, we all wanna know. Someone told me that it's like a genie and if you press it, you get three wishes. Hey Bailey, I'll give you $100 if you press the button right now. Make it 200 and you got a deal. Easy, you got yourself a deal. You're not really gonna press the button, right? Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? Nobody knows and that's why you don't press it. We'll be fine. Does that say what I think it says? Oh my God, we're all gonna die. Hey, whoa, are you okay? No, dude, he broke up with me over the phone. I am so sorry. He does not deserve you. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, I'm taking selfies. But you were just sobbing like three minutes ago. Nah, I'm over it. Speech? What's this? It's a new thing started by the government. You're given a certain amount of words a day and you must use all of them or else. Well, I only have 18 words today. That shouldn't be hard to use. Brianna, how many words do you need to use today? 18. Wow, you're so lucky. I got 5,000 words I have to use today, so I have to talk super fast and I have to use lots and lots of words. Talk, 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 talk. I can't stop talking, can't stop talking. The day's almost done. Did you use all your words? Yes. These are my last words, too. Oh, no, 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 no. Honey, what's wrong? I got 100,000 words to use today. How can I use all those words? You'll have to try your best. Understand. I only had 55 words, now I have so many. What's wrong with your voice? I lost my voice talking so much yesterday. I won't be able to use all my words. No, no, you can do it. You can. I can hardly talk. I want to switch my words back. Hello? The government? Are you there? God? Bestie, keep on trying to talk. The day's not over yet. I, I can't. Bestie, I'm so sorry. I love you. It's okay. It's not your fault. I heard from your best friend's mom she passed away. She couldn't use all her words. Are you okay? Yeah. I'll be okay. Your soulmate heart magnet came in. Yay! This isn't a heart. It will only make a heart with your soulmate. The magnetic force will pull you towards him, helping you find your soulmate. Wow. All right, kids, time to finger paint. Yay! My heart necklace is making a noise. The magnetic force pulling you towards your soulmate. <laughs> oh. Your soulmate must have been somewhere close. Too bad there was a wall in the way. What's going on? My soulmate must be near. Take me to him. Hey, Bree, where are you off to? Can I come with? My necklace is taking me to my soulmate. <laughs> Why is it pulling me to the floor? Girl, are you okay? I found the other half of my necklace, but I didn't find him. Oh no, your soulmate must have lost his necklace. I found the other half of my necklace, but I didn't find him. Oh no, your soulmate must have lost his necklace. We have to find out who it is. 
I need to make an announcement. No, you will not. Attention everyone. There has been a missing soulmate heart magnet found in the hallway. If anyone is missing their soulmate magnet, come to the office immediately. Give that back to me. You are in big trouble. I heard you guys found a soulmate magnet. I lost mine. Really? You must be my soulmate then. Yeah, I lost it back when I was six years old. Six? What? My soulmate would have lost his magnet in high school, not when he was six. No one else has came forward for missing magnet. Maybe I'll never find my soulmate. I hear a soulmate magnet was found. I lost mine last time I was here visiting the school. <gasps> the prince is your soulmate! You're my soulmate? Get ready with me as I tell you guys about the time I had a stalker. When I first moved to LA, I lived in an apartment complex that had a gym with it. But then I moved to somewhere that had no amenities at all, so I had to go and get a different gym membership. Since my rent had gone up, I was like, um, bitch, I'm gonna save some money and go to Planet Fitness. Key piece of information, this was not in the best area at all. Everything had been totally fine, no weird experiences, until this one day I smiled at a dude in the parking lot and then he left a note on my windshield. I was just trying to be friendly because he was getting out of the car right next to me, but oops. the note basically said, you're cute, call me, and I kind of laughed at it and never did because it's weird. Fast forward two months, I had gotten a new car and it was like 9 p.m., I come out of the gym and there is a sticky note pasted right above my door handle. This is what the note said. Mm. Obviously, someone was butthurt that I didn't text them. This man knew what my old car looked like, now knew what my new car looked like, and knew what time I went to the gym. I went back the next day and canceled it immediately, but they couldn't do anything about it. I know you guys tell me to stop messing with my hair, but my bangs need a trim. Am I gonna go to a stylist? No. I'm gonna cut them myself with my baby tiny scissors. I just wanna do some baby pieces in the front because I don't trust myself, but I also can't see because of the bangs. Okay, I'm just gonna say fuck it and start cutting. <laughs> I don't want to mess them up. That's my biggest worry that they're just gonna like look really bad. I don't think that that's even. I think I need to cut a little bit more on this side. Hopefully I won't regret this. Okay, I'm too scared and I barely took anything off, but I can definitely see now, which is good. I think that they're cute. My hair is always really messy, so you probably won't even tell if they're kind of uneven. Okay guys, I just got back from the festival day two and my hair is looking a little crazy, but the makeup has stayed on for the entire duration of the festival because of this NYX Cosmetics mattifying setting spray. It is so impressive and look at these stars. Prince Daniel, will you be my valentine? Sorry princess, I can't. Why not? My mom says I have an arranged marriage to another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our valentine's day? <laughs> <gasps> Princess Elizabeth! Dave. It's not what it looks like. Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize he was with you, Princess. I'm just gonna go. Elizabeth, you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. No more dating. What? I'm sorry, but you don't have a good taste in men. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, meet your husband-to-be, Prince Darren. Hello. Mwah. She's beautiful. Give him your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give him your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Mother, may I speak to you in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my heart. Ugh, oh, Elizabeth, why not? Because I was getting a really creepy vibe from him. Didn't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. Mom, no they don't. You need someone to protect your heart, and that's what he's going to do. This is my last heart, and I'm not trusting that prince with it. If she doesn't believe me, then I have no choice but to run away. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. I'm just a commoner. And you. You're the princess. I'm realizing now I probably shouldn't have left the palace with my crown on. I see her. She's down there. They found me. What's wrong? I need you to keep my heart safe. Princess, I couldn't. Please. Get her. Please take it. This is my last heart, and if it breaks... Something bad will happen to you. Someone's trying to break it. I will do my best to protect your heart, princess. Get her. Run. But what about... Run! Running away from the castle, are we? Come here. I found her, your majesty. Let go of me. Elizabeth. Where is your heart? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I mean I don't know, because I gave it to another man. What? What was his name? I'm not sure, Mother. I didn't ask. Could I have a moment with my fiancé alone? Of course, Your Highness. 
You can play all the games you want, princess. I will marry you, and I will find the man who took your heart. Look all you want. You're not gonna find him. We shall see. Prince Darren, we have found him. They were too fast, princess. I'm sorry. Where is the princess's heart? Well, that's the thing, Prince Darren. You may have caught me, but you'll never find where I hid the princess's heart. How dare you hide my daughter's heart? My queen, I say we send him to the torture chamber. No! It's the only way to get him to talk. Mother, please. Elizabeth, Prince Darren is right. He still won't talk. We only got his name. William. Ugh. Mother, let me speak to him, please. He will tell me where my heart is. Oh my goodness. What have they done to you? I promise to keep your heart safe, and I don't break my promises. I can't let you suffer for me. But the prince that you're supposed to marry, I can tell. He is evil. I know, William. But that's my problem, not yours. Where's my heart? Finally, her heart is where it belongs. All right, Mother, Prince Darren has my heart. Now let William go. No, dear. I'm afraid I can't do that. William is going to be killed. William is going to be killed for stealing your heart and hiding it. It must be done. I told him to do it. Oh, Elizabeth. You're just trying to protect him, I know. It was such a tough decision, Princess. May I speak to her alone? Of course, Darren. Don't be so sad. Get away from me. <laughs> we shall be married tomorrow. I will never marry you. Oh, but you will. That is, if you want William to live. Marry me tomorrow, and I'll convince your mother to let him live. And if you try anything, I will break your last heart. Do you understand? Do you accept Prince Darren as your husband? I do. Excellent. Now may I kiss the bride. Stop! That prince is evil. William? He escaped? And he's lying. It's true, Mother. He's been threatening me. What? I warned you not to speak against no. me. Her heart! Why is nothing happening? Because it was my last heart, not yours. William! Stop! Stop the wedding! That prince is evil! William? He escaped? And he's lying. No, it's true, Mother. Prince Darren has been threatening me. I warned you not to speak against me. No! Her heart! Why is nothing happening? Because that was my last heart, Ugh, not yours. William, his last heart, it's broken. What happens when your last heart breaks? I'm pretty sure you... You die. <laughs> How could you? Mom, there has to be something that we can do for him. Elizabeth, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. Just be happy that it wasn't your heart. Arrest him. Get off of me. You should be arresting him. He took her real heart. My heart? I can give him my heart. William, where did you put my real heart? I... <sighs> William? Elizabeth? Don't speak to me. Darling, they found it. The guards found your heart. My heart? Do you think it'll work if I give it to him? I'm not sure, dear, but it's worth a try. William, I want to give you my last heart. Please wake up. Heart oh. share. <gasps> William! Elizabeth! I can't punch someone in the face, that is so mean! Wait, but for a thousand dollars? Who's my victim? Hey sis! Uh, yeah, what's up? Remember that one time you stole my white blouse and got hot sauce all over it? Um, yeah, I remember that, I said sorry. It's time for my payback. Dude, you broke my nose! Yes, I'm rich! What's next? I want to buy myself a Chanel bag. You want me to cut someone's ponytail off? I'm sorry, but for 10K, I have to. Mom, I'm so sorry for what I'm about to do. What? What do you mean? Did you just cut all my hair off? Uh, yeah, looks like it. If I have to be bald, so do you. <gasps> I'm sorry. What? I can't do that. I'm gonna get arrested. I'll help you finish the challenge if you give me half the prize money. Hi, beautiful. I'm gonna be doing my whole face of makeup using only filters. Starting with eyebrows using this filter. I feel like my eyebrows are close to this already. <laughs> We're done with brows, let's move on. You already knew what I was gonna do for contour. My head is definitely a rectangle. I'm built like a Fruit Loops box. This is almost exactly how I normally do it. I feel like it's gonna look really good. Time for some freckles, let's see what we get. I guess I won't be wearing this makeup outside my house. This is actually not that easy. I picked the random Halloween eyeliner for some spice. Of course, it gave me the most difficult one. I have no idea if this looks good or not. 
I should have done eyeshadow first, but all right. One of my friends just asked me to hang out. Uh, not right now. Lastly, we are doing some random lips. Come on, should I send a picture to my crush like this? Okay, and this is our final look from all of those filters combined. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't think I'm gonna go outside the house. I kind of killed it. I think I did a good job. Ooh, a button. No, don't press that. Why not? Nobody knows what it does and we're not allowed to press it. Why is it there then? I don't know why it's there, but you're not gonna be the one to find out. What if it's like a million dollars? Or what if it literally ends the world? You need to go to school and don't press it while you're there, okay? Okay, I won't. I heard that someone got rich from pressing it last year. What are you guys talking about? What the button does, we all wanna know. Someone told me that it's like a genie and if you press it, you get three wishes. Hey Bailey, I'll give you $100 if you press the button right now. Make it 200 and you got a deal. Easy, you got yourself a deal. You're not really gonna press the button, right? Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? Nobody knows and that's why you don't press it. We'll be fine. Does that say what I think it says? Oh my God, we're all gonna die. Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred... Five? Honey. Quiet, I just wanna know one thing. Why is our rich score so low? Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? But daddy, you're a billionaire. He made a bad investment. I'm sorry, honey. <sighs> well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let anyone know about this. Hi, girly. Oh, hi, girls. Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Is that a Ross tag? This? I just put that on there so people wouldn't steal it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I, I don't want to make other people jealous. Please let us see your score. No, you're being sus. My daddy's in charge of these scores and I'm gonna have him make yours public. Mommy, daddy, we have a huge problem. What? What? Well, you remember my super rich friend, Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? Mm -hmm. Well, her daddy is in charge of these richness score scales and she said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public. Oh boy. What are we gonna do? 5% is like peasant material. I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I know this is hard. Why are my Gucci shoes in a for sale box? If we sell them, our percentage could go up. Okay, do what you must, because my social status is on the line. Good news, someone bought them on eBay. It only went up 2%. That wasn't worth it. I want my Gucci shoes back. Why did you have to go bankrupt, Daddy? Now tomorrow, I'm going to be publicly humiliated. I can't stand to see her like this. The truth is, Daddy didn't actually go bankrupt. You two lied to me? Yes, because we didn't want you to worry. About what? Recently, some bad men threatened to take you away from us if we didn't pay them billions. And you listened to them? I had to. Daddy, I would think you would know better. This isn't a joke, Pumpkin. I know these men. They would really come for you. Enough. Have they received the money? The transfer is still pending, but this is why our score is so low. Cancel that transfer. If I do that, they're going to get really upset. Cancel it right now, Daddy, or or I'm going to scream. Okay, all right. It's canceled. We have 100%? I can't wait to show the girls. It's not safe for you to be out in public right now. Daddy, I will be fine. Just hire me some bodyguards. Your score is going public in three, two... <gasps> what? You have 100%? Aw, and it looks like you both are only in the 90s. <sighs> Miss, we need to get you out of here. We have a code red. Who's that man behind you? Brooke, run! <sighs> Todd, how dare you? He was my favorite bodyguard. Are you Brooke Evans? Um, no. Take a... <gasps> uh, let me go, you jerks. Read this. <sighs> I am not reading that. Yes, you will. Hi, Daddy. This is Brookie. Unfortunately, I have been kidnapped, and I'm sorry, can we cut? The lighting is just so bad. Just read the script. Okay, geez. Hi, Daddy. They are saying that they want 1.2... I can't read that. Ugh. What? I don't have my contacts. All right, that's enough. Ow. Send us the money, or you're not going to see her again. You better not have ripped out my hair. Be quiet, or we're gonna get the duct tape. I'm hungry. Can you guys get me some Starbucks or something? Who do you think we are, Uber Eats? Back to being a peasant.
Okay, guys, they transferred the money. Now let me go. Change of plans. <laughs> We're bringing you to a new location. But that wasn't the deal. Someone else gave us a better offer for you. Hey, Brooke. Todd, you're... Shh, quiet. They're asleep. Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's gonna kick your ass. I'd like to see him troll! Yes, Todd, get them! Disappear and stay? What does this mean? It's a new form of population control. People can vote for you to disappear or stay. Why do you look worried? Well, Dad, because I haven't exactly been nice to people. Everyone's gonna vote for me to disappear. Oh, honey, it's going to be okay. Just try to apologize. Looks like it's finally payback time for you making fun of me all these years. I understand. I'm sorry. Hey, Giselle, remember that time you cut my ponytail off? Jessica, that was in middle school. Can't we just forget about that? Actually, we can. You never even said you're sorry. I'm sorry. Giselle? Jake, hi. Remember that time you cheated on me? Look, I told you I was sorry. If I could take it back, I would. Well, you can't, so... Hey, um, Giselle? Look, just vote for me to disappear already. I never really liked you, but... Hey, uh, Giselle? Look, just vote for me to disappear already. I never really liked you, but... You voted for me to stay. Why? You're always mean to me, but I don't think anyone deserves to disappear. Thank you. I promise I'll try to change. Guys, look at him. He's such a loser. Hey, leave him alone. Look who's talking. You're a big bully yourself. Yeah, well, I'm trying to change. <laughs> you could never change. Shit, I forgot my pen. Hey, you could borrow mine. Wait, really? Thank you. You're welcome. Mom, I'm home. Do you have your report card? Yeah, it's right here. Look at this. You got all D's. You're such a disappointment. You don't mean that. Oh, yes, I do. I think it'll be better for you to just disappear. Mom, please don't. You don't really leave me much of a choice. Mom, I'm home. Do you have your report card? Yeah, it's right here. Look at this. You got all D's. You're such a disappointment. You don't mean that. Oh, yes, I do. And I think it'll be better if you just disappear. Mom, no, please don't. You don't really leave me much of a choice. What's going on here? Dad! Mom voted for me to disappear. Is this true? Yes, she's just a waste of space. You know what, Giselle, just come with me. Dad, what's going on? It's time I tell you the truth. She's not your real mom. Are you serious? Yes, I'm sorry. I never knew she would treat you like this. You lied to me my whole life. I only need one more vote to disappear, so I'm gonna go find someone to give me that. Hey, I know you hate me. Can you please just vote for me to disappear? Why would you want that? Look, just do it. Um, okay. Hey, I know you hate me. Can you please just vote for me to disappear? Why would you want that? Look, just do it. Um, okay. No, I said vote for me to disappear, not stay. But I did vote for you to disappear. <sighs> what? You must be the one. The one? What do you mean the one? I can't tell you here. Come with me. Can we stop running and you just tell me what's going on? There's a rumor that there's a person that's unable to disappear no matter how many votes they get. And I think it's you. <laughs> me? Why would it be me? Because when I voted for you to disappear, it went to stay. People are going to come looking for you. You guys, there they are. They found us. We have to go. Okay, I think we're safe here. <laughs> what are we going to do? I haven't been completely honest with you. There isn't only one person unable to disappear. There's two, and I'm one of them. So you're one too? Yes, and here's what we need to do. Here's your lunch. Thank you. What is this? Hurry now, you don't want to be late for school. Mom, you've kissed that many people? Excuse me? Gross. Hey, Bestie. Hey. No way. You haven't had your first kiss yet? What are you talking about? I definitely had my first kiss. Come on, it's me. You can tell me the truth. I am telling the truth. I've kissed like six guys. Okay. I believe you. I'm telling the truth. Hey, baby. Babe. Babe, 
15? Ooh, well, as long as they were before he met me, I guess. Good morning, baby. I got you flowers. You're so sweet. Thank you. Anything for you. Is everything okay? What's wrong? Oh, nothing. I'll see you later, okay? Love you. Bestie, I really need to talk to you about something. You see, my boyfriend... No way. Bestie, you've had your first kiss? I already told you. I had my first kiss a long time ago. I've kissed tons of guys. Why do you keep lying to me? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so crazy. Isn't it? Hey, do you know where Brianna is? She's been avoiding me all day. No clue. Bestie, could you be honest with me for once? Did you kiss my boyfriend? Because I saw that your kiss count went up and his kiss count went up. First of all, how do you know our kiss counts? And no, I didn't kiss your boyfriend. I don't even like men. That's why I've been lying, saying I've kissed a bunch of guys. I was nervous about coming out, and I didn't want to tell you this way. I'm so sorry. I just wanted to know who my boyfriend cheated on me with. Good morning, Mom. I spy with my little eye my mom. Here, take your vision blocking glasses. I spy with my little eye these vision blocking glasses. Wear them as much as you can so you don't have to say I spy all the time. I barely take mine off. I spy with my little eye the ground. I spy with my little eye the bush. I spy with my little eye the bus. Class, can anyone tell me why the earth is flat? My eyes are so itchy. My glasses, where'd they go? Timmy, say I spy. I spy with... I spy with my little eye a beautiful girl named Brianna. Chad, is that you? Of course it's me. Take off your glasses so I can see your beautiful eyes. I... I don't know. It's not really safe. Come on, Brianna. I just want to see your eyes. You know you can trust me. Okay. Give me those. Take off your glasses so I can see your beautiful eyes. I don't know. It's not really safe. Come on, Brianna. I just want to see your eyes. You know you can trust me. Okay. Give me those. I spy with my little eye, Chad. Give me back my glasses. No way. I lost mine. Catch me if you can. I spy with my little eye, the wall. I spy with my little eye, Chad. I spy with my little eye, my vision-blocking glasses. Hey, give them back. No, they're mine. And if you have your eyes open, you need to say I spy. I spy with my little... Chad? Chad? Attention everyone. For population control, you may no longer wear your vision blocking glasses or keep your eyes closed for an extended period of time. Anyone who breaks these rules will be killed. I spy with my little eye... Hey, what do you think you're doing? Uh, uh, nothing. You are a terrible liar. You know you can't go outside until you turn 21. But why? I'm 18. Isn't that close enough? No, you're not going outside. I need to know what's out there. I'm going to work. Don't try anything while I'm gone. Okay, see you later. Why is there nothing good on Netflix right now? Who's there? That's definitely not my mom. Bailey, honey, listen to me. There's somebody inside the house. I saw it on the cameras. You have to leave now. But I can't go outside. It's just this one time. The police are on the way to save you right now. What do you mean they'll save me? Okay, this is it. I'm going out the window. <coughs> Ooh. Hey, you can't touch anything. Why not? You can only touch three things today. I don't understand what the big deal is. You have to save them in case of an emergency, okay? I'm sure it'll be fine. You can only touch your own body or things you're already wearing. I know. Everyone take out your textbooks and open to page three. I can't. You can't touch anything again today, Bailey? Just how it is, I'm sorry. You can follow along with what we're doing on the board. Hey, do you think you could hand me a pencil by any chance? No, uh, I'm sorry. Why not? I can see that you can touch three things. Just use one of them. No, I'm sorry. Just ask someone else. I want you to do it. Hey, what are you doing? Let go of me. Look, it's not that hard. Bitch, did you just slap me? Yes. You're gonna regret doing that. Reason? Reason of what? Sorry, I forgot to tell you. You have to pick the reason you die. I don't want to choose the reason that I die. You have to. We all do. Well, it's definitely not going to be by drowning. 
I'm gonna pick the most painless one that I can. Good luck. I don't think any of the options are good. Murder? Oh my god, that's way worse. No. Can this give me an option that doesn't suck brutally? <laughs> Bailey! Oh, sis, what's wrong? I didn't pick a reason in time and it picked one for me. What? It picked one for you? Apparently you only get three choices. I didn't know that. I'm so scared to ever get into a car again. I'm so sorry. Be careful with your choices, okay? I will. Please just give me something painless. Mommy, what are you looking at? Uh, nothing, honey. Well, what's a sugar daddy? It's a candy. <laughs> well, then I wish for a sugar daddy. No! Oh, why did you do that? Look, guys, it's sugar daddy girl. Shut up. I was six, okay? At least I won't have to worry about money. You did not just say that. I bet she's looking forward to it. Mom, are you sure there's no way for me to change my wish? Your wish is permanent, honey. I'm sorry. I can't help feeling like this is all my fault. That's because it kind of is. What was that? Nothing. Love you, Mom. Here's your test back. Can I see you after class, please? Mr. Smith, if this is about my grade and my test, I... No, no, it's not about that. And, uh, please, call me Darren. Darren, I mean, uh, Mr. Smith, I mean, what are you doing? Well, this might come as a bit of a shock to you, but I actually really like you, Brina, as more than just a student. In fact, I really don't even need this job. I just teach here so I can see you. What? Yeah, I'm actually a multimillionaire, and I'm looking for someone like you to spoil. Um, I... Please, Brina, just think about it. All I would ask for is one favor in return. Mom, I think my wish just came. Honey, I don't feel good. Call an ambulance. What's going on with her, doctor? Your mother needs a kidney transplant, but her insurance does not cover it. Well, how much does the surgery cost? 145000 out of pocket. Do it. I'll cover the expenses. Are you sure? Hey, Brina, did you change your mind? Yes, I'll do you a favor, but no one can know about this, okay? Of course, of course. Now, what did you want in return? $145,000. How much did your teacher give you? one hundred and forty-five dollars to cover the surgery. Rena, are you kidding me? I know it sounds bad, but he just wanted to take me out to dinner, and he said all he wants to do is pay for my meal and just talk. Are you insane? There's no way on earth I'm letting my baby girl go meet up with some creep. He's 40 years old and you're still a minor. I know, but they said your insurance isn't going to cover your surgery. I was trying to save you. Listen to me. I will take money out of my savings. Mom, you will go broke. I don't care. Now you go give that teacher his money back right now. No daughter of mine is going to have a sugar daddy. But Mom... I said no. Hey, you're early. Actually, I'm not going out to dinner with you after all. What? Why? I told my mom and she... You told your mom? Yeah, so listen, here's your check back. No! This wasn't a part of our deal. Hey, you're coming with me. Wait here. I'll be right back. I have to get out of here. Wait. He's an idiot. He didn't even take my phone. All right, I'm back. Here, I bought this for you. Put it on. Yeah, that's not happening. Please put it on, Brina. I'd like you to wear that. Oh, so now you want to be nice. You know what? Can I ask you something? Honestly, why are you so obsessed with me out of all the other students? Because you... You remind me of my wife when she was younger. She passed away right after we got married. Ever since then, I haven't really been the same. Whoa, now I almost feel bad for doing this to you. Doing what? It's all clear, guys. Police, let me see your hands. Oh. I'm so happy you're okay. Yeah, I just don't get it, though. I wish for a sugar daddy, not for a creepy stalker teacher. Well, honey, look what came for you in the mail today. Wait, so it is a candy? <laughs> yep, and after I sue that teacher, we'll have plenty of money to pay for my surgery. Happy birthday, sweetie.